I'd like to show you how to use this cute little app called Little Storybook Maker. It's completely free, has no in-app purchases and no advertising. When you open the app, you will see any stories that have already been started and a plus sign. Click the plus sign to add a new story. Type in a name for your new story and click the Add button. This is the toolbar, and this particular tool here is for adding a new page. Every time you add a new page to your presentation or story, you'll be asked to choose from these nice little backgrounds. I like that they're kind of limited so kids don't get lost in the number of backgrounds. You'll also notice this is a handle. Um, you can slide the handle up or down to get it off the screen which is handy to keep in mind. To add a photograph or a movie, just click the tool that looks like a camera. You'll be asked if you want to choose from your camera roll or uh, take some live footage of either video or uh, images. I chose something from my camera roll, a picture of the dog. Um, if that is indeed the picture you want, you'll want to click Done. One of the interesting things about this particular program is when you add texts, you can either add a title or you can add a text area, which is more like a smaller print. I'll show you the difference between these two features here in a minute. I chose add a title. You can see it prompts you for the text. There are some changes you can make in the font, uh, style, color, um, and then click done. Now if I had chosen to add a text area instead of a title you can see that there's a little bit more room for your for your writing. Um, I did not do any line breaks as you can see and that is going to be a problem. Watch this. Uh oh I said I was done but my typing is off the page that doesn't look so good so what we'd have to do we'd have to click that and add some line breaks by clicking here and hitting the enter key there that's much better I also changed the the font size and added some coloring and some shadow and made it kinda cute uh, this tool right over here this is the sticker tool there's a wide variety of cute stickers you can add. You can't resize these, so I don't find them terribly useful, and I think they'd be a distraction for the kids. So I would discourage them from playing with the stickers too much unless they're doing it as a free choice activity. To record audio, just poke the microphone, you'll get this screen, and you'll get the three, two, one prompt, and it'll start recording. To stop recording, you'll click this uh, square, and to hear what you've recorded, then click the micro, the speaker icon. One thing that's very interesting about this program is it gives the option of uh, having your voice synchronize with each word of the title and if it's not quite right you can move these you can scooch them this way and that way and that way when the movie is played each word will light up as you say it it's kind of an interesting feature I don't see the kids using that so I would have the kids turn off the audio highlights you can also draw on your uh, slide just picking up the crayon will give you a number of colors to use here's the eraser tool when you're done with a page just click the plus sign and it'll ask you if you want to have a new page or you could duplicate the page which would be interesting to try to do some uh, stickman animations with the kids you could duplicate the page and just have them erase a small part with each slide. It'd be interesting to try that. When you're finished playing around you'll want to click your home button and it'll say well what do you want to do? Do you want to save and exit or do you want to save and share? 
Um, you can share your work at any time, so just go ahead and save and exit. Your project will now be living on the home screen. Uh, if you double click on your pro on any one of these projects, it will let you continue to uh, read it or continue to edit it, or you can completely start over. You also can see this uh, little sharing button to send it via email. And in a nutshell, that is Little Story Creator. I think it has lots of possibilities. It reminds me a little bit of uh, PowerPoint for the younger set. It's, uh, it's pretty simple to use. You can see on this particular project, there's, it gives you a fair amount of text space if that is important to you. Um, but I like that it's so easy to insert pictures or video. So I hope you give it a try, and thanks for watching.